So Charles, what are some of the main deployment challenges that Ericsson has seen in this initial phase of 5G? Yeah, so for our operators, they're still faced with the same challenges as deploying their mobile networks, just in a greater extent. So the need for space, power, connectivity are still driving 5G challenges. Uh, 5G actually places additional demands for fiber connectivity based on mid-band massive MIMO radios as well as multi-millimeter wave uh, high-band radios. Uh, the other challenge is as they deploy these solutions at street level or on poles, the need for concealment to support uh, municipality zoning and permitting is key. So given the complexity of these deployments, how are you helping your operator customers address these challenges? So Ericsson's created a, a robust optical portfolio we call Front Hall 6000. It's based on the Ericsson radio system and it leverages the same enclosures, mounting hardware, uh, concealment shrouds as our radios. We also offer both active as well as passive solutions to address different deployment scenarios. Let's dig into that a little bit more. Can you help me understand the distinction between active and passive front hall? Sure. So generally uh, for small cell, street level, uh, street pole deployments, operators want something that's small and, and can be concealed. And that solution, uh, passive is, is the uh, typically lower cost as well as the more uh, smaller sized, uh, better concealed solution, and it works well with uh, all of our radios. So Charles, you took me through passive front hall. Can you tell me a little bit more about active front hall? Sure. Say so our active uh, front hall solution is a great uh, solution for customers that are relocating baseband's from the bottom of the tower to baseband hotels. It alleviates, it actually eliminates the need to climb the tower. By leveraging the active solution, you basically bring that same gray optic down, just like the baseband's at the bottom. You use the active solution to map that to a, a color DWDM optic and then reduce the number of fibers from the macro back to the baseband hotel. So the active solution, again, we see mainly in macro deployments and it eliminates the need to climb the tower. So what's the big picture here when we think about transport and 5G? You seem to have uh, pretty well everything covered in your portfolio, but what does it mean in terms of taking those to your operator customers and making this real out in the field? Right, so from a, a deployment and what we've seen from uh, operators deploying actual 5G, we've had challenges with uh, street pole deployments where we needed to build concealment solutions that can be placed in the pole as well as underground and fiber handholds. We have uh, emerging business customers that are actually deploying our equipment in cabinets. And uh, it's for a mass transit authority application leveraging CBRS. We have um, other customers that uh, want to take advantage of the radio bracketing and basically place the solutions behind the radios and leverage that same mounting hardware. And then finally, we have concealed solutions that leverage shrouds for the radios and we've integrated the transport and optical solutions into those same solutions so it's all a single robust concealed solution. Excellent. Well Chuck, I appreciate you taking the time to share your perspective with me.